Hey everyone, my name is Brian from Misa Farms. I am one of the growers and co-owners and founders of this gourmet mushroom farm business. What we're going to do today, because of our customers asking us, we are going to show you how to use one of our grow bags and set it up so you too can grow some Horatia Miranaceous, some of our beautiful crazy King Blue coming right out, then one of my personal favorites, our Mother of Pearl, super sweet, and then this is my pet Fred. Now this is Fred the Rishi. So Fred, we fruited Fred probably about six months ago now. And Rishi is just such an amazing, amazing mycelium. It's so strong, it takes over the wood again. I could probably cut this down and turn it into tabletops, I don't know. But for the functional mushroom of Rishi, what you would do is you pluck this off, grind it up, and that's where you go into your medicinal mushroom. Now with our functional mushrooms, we love to provide customers their own grow bags. So that's Fred Rishi. He has been dehydrated, and he's just been rocking every tour for us for the last few months. So anyway, like I said, we're brand new to this. This is our first demonstration video, here we go. So all you'll need for this one is either a roll of tape or an elastic band, as well as my favorite, just a box cutter. Now, if you have scissors, go ahead, but the box cutter works the best. So what we're gonna do today, this is a block of Horatia Miranaceous, lion's mane, monkey beard, monkey head, no, lion's beard, monkey head, hudoku, anyhow, it's this guy, the lion's mane. So what we're doing, we wanna test our bag. You hear that little rubber? Like that. So you want to feel that nice rubbery texture. That means the mycelium is colonized and eaten all of the hardwood in the soil. And after that, we're just going to make a little slight cut in the corner. And we want to get the excess air out of the bag. And we actually want to be really careful to cover up the filter as well, or else the mushroom is going to try and grow out of that. So what we want to do is get it nice and tight, fold it over. I use our elastics. If you come by the store or the farmer's market, I just use a simple elastic hold it down gives it that nice tight nice and tight and then what we're gonna do or good old masking tape we'll do both because you might not have an elastic band and what household now does not have one but you never know so there we go and we just got it all taped up there so what we want to do is kind of just squeeze the mycelium let it know it's time to go some of the growers like the Southwest mushroom farm guys they uh he likes to spank them tell them to wake up so I'm going to give it an old mic from Southwest. This is for you, buddy. I'm going to spank my lines, man, just for you, bud. So what we're doing now is you want to focus on your center cut of the bag. I do see some more pieces of the mycelium forming on this block. So, and there's a little bit there, and there's some here. I'm just going to go for it right into that nice little spot where there's some white. And I'm just going to cut a tiny, almost like a cat door, you know, and that's it. Just a little flap, and that's it. That's all. And then so after that, that's your bag is set, you're done. You're a mushroom farmer. Now the next step to farming mushrooms is water. Now I obviously, I'm a cheater, I, I do this all day. So I, I have myself a handy dandy pump, water pump. You might just have a little small spray mister. We typically send them or give them to customers as well. We have some small ones. The kids really like it because then your son or daughter, uh, you know, your, your child can just give it a little spray every morning, three times a day. We always tell you to put them right by the, um, the sink where you wash your hands because what we grow with is we grow with a soy husk and a hardwood substrate and then we grow the mycelium body in oats so that's it three super clean sterilized products so there is no animal content in this you don't have to worry about any bag leakage if it does it's okay you got some bag goo but it's nothing that's going to be contaminating or toxic to you or your family or your pets the cats cats we've never had a customer actually say the cat ate the mushroom but they look at them, they think they're funny, of course, this is a cat. Dogs, on the other hand, just, they lick them, and that's okay. So I'm just going to give it some extra water right in the flap where I cut, and then that's it. So we're set it, forget it, but every four hours you can think of it. I wouldn't recommend to customers to buy a fruit block, open it, and then go on vacation for two weeks. It just won't happen. But you can order and buy one off us and put them in the freezer. This will freeze for months and months and months. Then you can take it out and defrost it, and then the mushroom will grow. It's mycelium, it's a wonderful thing. And then that's it, that's your external. And here we have some of our beautiful ones I just pulled out for the show. My nice lion's mane's coming up really nice and thick. And the one thing I'll tell you is that with our company, with Mesa Farms, if you order from us, uh, we're always there. We have good customer service. You'll probably get me on the phone. Um, and yeah, we're a startup gourmet mushroom farm. So happy growing guys and post your comments and please subscribe to our channel. Thanks.